in light of all the above, in light of the compelling and moving testimony of my colleagues, what is it that we can do? What action can we take? And may I outline uh, in one-liners, given the understanding of our audience, what are the actions that can be taken? Number one, we need to call upon the special prosecutor to expeditiously open an investigation into these crimes against humanity. As Louis Amagro mentioned, the Venezuelan regime has been enabled to operate with impunity. Two, we need to initiate a complaint under the International Court of Justice against Venezuela, which is a state party to the torture convention for its egregious cases of torture. Number three, we need to initiate prosecutions on the basis of universal jurisdiction in our respective countries. Number four, we need to continue to make, and our Raoul Wallenberg Center for Human Rights has been making these representations to the working group on the disappeared, given, as I said, the dramatic increases in the disappeared as we meet. Number five, we need to invoke the United Nations special procedures, particularly the United Nations UN Special Rapporteur on Torture and the Independence of the Judiciary to unmask and expose the unrelenting persecution and prosecution of Judge Maria Lourdes Afuni, who has suffered unrelenting torture at the hands of the Maduro regime, and where she is, and her case, a looking glass into the ongoing assault of the Maduro regime on the rule of law, on the independence of the judiciary, and on any sense of justice in Venezuela. Number six, we should hold hearings in our respective parliaments, as we have done in Canada, to further unmask, expose, and hold accountable the Maduro criminal regime. Number seven has been mentioned to support the petition for the suspension of Maduro's Venezuela from the UN Human Rights Council. Number eight, to enhance Magnitsky sanctions targeting the major human rights violators. And now that the European Union has adopted Magnitsky sanctions to intensify the use of this important resource for that purpose. Number nine, to establish an inter-parliamentary alliance on Venezuela, similar to the inter-parliamentary alliance that we've established with respect uh, to China, and to use the good offices of the parliamentarians for global action, and our Wallenberg Center has entered into a partnership with them with respect to utilizing their rapid response, emergency response team for the protection of human rights defenders and parliamentarians. Number 10, and moving to a close, we need an intergovernmental alliance, an intergovernmental alliance of the democracies to combat the axis of repression involving Iran and Russia and China, which is buttressing the Maduro regime. And finally, we need to provide the desperately needed humanitarian relief to Venezuela's suffering people. As we move, and this is the overall compelling theme of all our remarks, as we move to secure justice for the Venezuelan people and accountability for the criminal violators. Thank you.